Hello guys, welcome back once again to Inscription. Picking up right where we were before on our little adventure board. Um, I can't remember what we did last time. I think we discovered ourselves as a card from a previous death. But anyway, let's move on to this next spot and see what we've got in store for us. Oh, I forgot to change the uh, tech speed. Okay, we're going to have to try and catch up with that stout. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate its pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Oh! Get a look at me belts! Okay, what we got? Take a pelt. Free or charge? Okay, wait, so I can, I can just take that. See the quality? Can I pick any one of these? Wolf Pelt, Rabbit Pelt, Golden Pelt. One, two. Oh, wait, can I have this one for free and then I have to pay extra? You, you're leaving already? Please consider me pelts. You'll need more teeth for that one. Oh, okay. You'll need more teeth for that one. Oh, I took two pals. Okay. Thanks for your business. A man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Ooh, maybe this, uh... Oh, where would this tradesman be? Stand. Stand. It will allow me to plan. I don't I don't need you to plan. So that's a fight. Where would the tradesman be? Be up there. I don't know what this is. Let's go to this right one. Is this a tradesman? Oh. The gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Oh, it's a fan with chicken legs! The user, you may cut up one of your adversary's cards. It is destroyed. You will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. I think I want the scissors. Some bone tokens for a rainy day. Ooh. A rock may get you out of a hard place. I think the rock is good. Go to this devastating tree looking thing. Okay. Ah! Wolf. Okay. So, what's he got? What's this mean? Nightly leap. A card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Okay. Oh! 273. Uh. I noticed there was a safe in the thing, so hopefully after this, the two. Se Let me make a note of that. Two seven three. Okay, rabbit pelt doesn't really do anything, does it? Right, so we can summon this. Then we'll summon a bullfrog. Uh, it's going to attack for two. My health is two. Can I play this? I can play this. Okay, I don't think it does anything, but it can block. If nothing else. Like, ding dong de bellio. Okay, so cockroach. Or. Oh, that's the day. Okay, so I can cut up. Right, I think I want to use a boulder. Utilize a boulder. I think I want to cut up one of his cards. They only have one health. Yeah, I'm just going to cut up that. What's this do? You will place a weight on the scales. Okay, I don't think we need that. Can't do anything else, can I? Okay, ding dong de bellio. Right. Don't have enough. One. Oh, I could blingy, 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 plong. 
Okay. I don't know how bad I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna have to put a weight on. I pulled my own tooth out! I didn't think you would really do it. I didn't think that's what I'd really be doing. Okay, I needed to take a squirrel. Is that me dead? I suppose I still it. Can't draw. Wait. What? Can't sacrifice a boulder so you're short. Oh no! I've lost. God's sake! Okay, that's one of my lives gone. How disappointing! Stand. Yes, I will stand. I will actually stand. Of course. I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unscrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Where is this thing? Oop. Oop. Okay, safe. 273. Two, seven, three. <gasps> oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever see this great. The Iron Crypt is P. It's so stout around the stunted wolf. This madness must end. Put that away. Oh, I got a key. Oh, I got a key. Take the key. Key for here. Ooh, what's this? Zero of five. Ding dong the bellio. Oh, hang on. Oh, how to do five damage? Oh, there we go. Ooh, a skin. I forgot that I put that there very well. You may add it to your deck and I'll deal with you one every so often. Okay. Oh, so we sorted that. Two, three, four, five. So it is something to do with that. So how do we hit for five? So that's going to hit for zero. That in battle doesn't do anything. It's only doing one. Do anything more back here. Oh, we did it. Work at ant. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will let you, I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. Problem is, is there are a lot of blood sacrifices, so... Oh! Oh, we got some more puzzles! Alright, so that's a zero in. Oh, that's hitting for four. That's hitting for three. That's hitting for five! Oh my god, look at us, we're on a roll now. An aged wolf! Oh! So, straight off, it's doing one. You want to do that. That's doing two. You don't want that. Two. Can't move that back. Do that. Three. Nothing else can put here. You know what? We've got a few things. I'm going to move back for now. Let's get back to the game board. Ooh, hammer. Hey, man. Bah, I'm back. Oh, we got some cards. Right, anything what doesn't have blood sacrifices. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. One blood, two blood, bone. Um, one blood. Ah, the elusive otter. It submerges itself during my turn. Ooh. Random card with a cost of one. What were you expecting? 
So it just gives it me, but if I'd have chosen a cost otherwise, it just, just changed it, I suppose. Oh, I think I can't sacrifice the boulder. I think I want the boulder. It's bleeding yields three blood. If you can ignore the bleeding. Oh, oh, this looks like a boss. Oh, hello. Oh, this is... The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A horrible figure stood in your path. Ah, uh, hello. Here, towards the prospector. Say hello to the prospector. From Toy Story. I'm the prospector. Oh, our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You've got a plan. We have another friend here. You've got to be, I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we are in deep this time. I need to slow that text down so I can properly read them. And queen. Oh, he doesn't require any sacrifice. You don't have two bones. Oh, he's two bones. I can't see it. That's me being a, a dud. Coyote. Okay, so I don't want him to die just yet. Get the stout out. Total misplay. Okay. What, did I need to protect? What's the mule do? Um, I suppose I could... Can I kill him? If I take a squirrel, I can squirrel this. And I can get the ant queen. The ant queen's attack. One. Power in numbers, the ant's creed. Right, I can summon this. Here. And then I can ding dong and hit stuff. Yes. Uh, oh, we might as well get a squirrel. And then we can sacrifice for a worker ant. And then hit it. Oh, oh he's a wolf now. No. Uh, squirrel's no good, so I might as well. Wolf pelt. Okay, let's do this. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at all my hand! Dag nabbit my mule! Oh! Did we do it? I hope you don't think it would be that easy. Oh. Oh. There's gold in them cards. Whoa! Excuse me. Gold, I struck gold. What are you doing? Okay, what have I got? Can I sacrifice those gold? Warren. Right, I don't need a squirrel. So, can I sacrifice? I want you to skip your turn. I'll pass my next turn. You're damn right you will. Right. You're out of space, there's no room for that card. Oh, what am I supposed to do with these? So let's summon the wolf. And get rid of the bloodhound. What's that do, actually? When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing this sigil will move to that empty space. Right, let's just do this. Uh, um... Oh wait, can I, pl I can play that. Bullfrog's gonna hit for one. Not gonna be great. Got two defense. One one. Maybe that was a misplay. I don't think I can sacrifice the pelt. If I do this, kill the bloodhound. And that should be fine. Do I need a squirrel? Yes. I do need a squirrel. Right, let's play a squirrel. And I think 
Let's get this. Lay that there. Never doubt the ferocity of rabbits. Ah, oh, look at the little rabbit. Uh, or oh, boulder might actually be useful. Maybe I should put a boulder down in front of the wall. Okay, I have space now. I have space now. Right, I have a rat. Oh, I have a rabbit. A cage wolf. Adder. One, one. One, one. Right, let's take a squirrel. Play a rabbit. Play a squirrel. And I'm going to take adder. Click the adder there. I'm going to do this. Take out one adder and hit him for more. Can I do him? Can I do him in? Oh, we did him in. Yes. Those tactical plays. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. <gasps> I get the life back. Yeah. Pioneer's bargain. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. <gasps> like Seto Kaiba's little Yu-Gi-Oh box. Or dual monsters because you don't call it Yu-Gi-Oh in Yu-Gi-Oh. I have no words for this freak of nature. Long Elk. Child 13. Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? Oh. Pack rat. The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. I remember having that before. I'm going to take the orange elk. With sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. Okay, what we got? Oh, another card. A rank smell of rot and mold permitted the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tre tread cautiously into the wetlands. Give me another card, man. All right, what we got now? So we've got Kaminsky. Rattler. Oh, six bones. Rat King. The tragic Rat King. When their tangled bodies became become corpses, you will gain four bones. Oh, okay. We're gonna take the pack rat king. Uh, do we go by the fire or do we... let's go to the pack? I think getting some items could be good. Gotta remember we got those boulders. Uh, ooh, what's this one do? Creature will attack as though they have the airborne sigil. I'm gonna take the squirrel. I think that'd be very useful. Sacrifices are always useful. I need. If I let me put a boulder down. Put two boulders down, actually. Yep. And we'll summon a squirrel. We'll summon the ant queen. Uh, I'm not gonna put it there because it'll die. I think. We've got worker ant. I'll do. Right, okay. So, work around is one. So what? They have no attack. The value represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on the side of the table. So would that mean two? Right, I'm going to take squirrel. So I can then do this, and the ants should have two? Yes. We can do that. Take out the adder. The brother takes out my queen. That's a bunch of doo-doo butter. I only got one, two, three, four. So we can get a cockroach. I suppose I might as well draw because I know I'm going to get out on the field. Let's summon the cockroach. And then we'll attack. The adder's gonna take out my worker ant. Uh, that's got flying things. I could do with getting the wolf down. That's gonna kill me anyway. Let me get the wolf here. Right, do this. 
Summon the wolf. Get rid of the adder. I think if I'm right, I get the cockroach back? Yeah. Were you as unfaltering as the cockroach? Okay. I'm gonna have to draw. Just get. Why can't I remember? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Okay, so what's he do? What's his stinky? The creature opposes, opposing a card wearing a sigil loses one power. So if I put him, oh, if I put him there. One, two, three, four, five. If I put him there, he loses one power, so then he can't kill me. Is that right? He's right. Oh. Mad plays. Okay, I can summon that. Let me draw something here. River Otter. Right, I can summon the Cockroach. How much does the River Otter do? 1-1. One, one. I'm just going to play the Cockroach here and take out the Coyote. Seems about the right thing to do. Bullfrog's only doing one, okay. Now we get the River Otter, I think. Play that. Get the River Otter. I think he dives away. I think what happens is... Okay, so... Hold your breath! Okay, so he, he hits over me. Uh, I'm not sacrificing anything just yet, so... Rabbit Pelt. So it's like an extra defense. I think we've got this now. Yes, we got it. Nice! Nice! Very, very nice. Okay, card or blood thing? I think I want a straight up card. Oh, the river snapper. Awesome. Ooh, what's this? That... That guy doing what I need to get. Beehive. The invulnerable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. I feel like this is telling me to pick this. Right. We go for campfire? No, let's go for some items. We've got no items at the moment. Black goat. Right, I want to cut up a card of his. What, what's this do again? Define... Black goat is created in your hand. A black goat is defined as zero power, one health, worthy sacrifice. Is that basically meaning I can sacrifice it as three? I'm just going to take another scissor. Okay, I'll take the black goat. I will take your black goat! Okay. Aged wolf. Ah, Uh, So I will attack over it. I can get rid of the coyote. I think. No, I can't, because I need a two sacrifice. I'm going to... Oh, let me draw a card. Pink bug. Okay. I'm going to cut you up. And I'm going to cut you up. And now... I'm going to take the black goat. If I summon the black goat using that... Bit. Now I can summon the one... That's all I need, that's all I need. Fine. Then attack. The goat doesn't attack. He doesn't have anything. He draw a thing. River Otter. Can I use the... Oh, I can! So it means I can use him for a sacrifice of three blood then. Okay. I think I draw a squirrel. 
You have me here, I surrender. Okay, I accept your surrender. Maybe he knows I can just take him out there and... Jazz like that. Okay, let us get another card. A river snapper, a sparrow, or a beehive. When it's high, I can get a bee. I like the idea of that. Okay, I think we need to make an immediate big play. One, one, one. Okay, so they're all ones. So, let us get... Let's have a squirrel. There are no cards of mine. I want the squirrel. Okay, squirrel. Squirrel. He's going to dive away. So there's like... Oh, wait, I can do this. And then I can summon the parson. And then we can attack. A four. Okay. Those two hiding away. Uh, I think. All right, I'm gonna draw. Oh, we got the beehive. I don't think we want. Right, I think we're gonna take the black goat. I'm gonna sacrifice the parson for the black goat, and then sacrifice the black goat for the ant queen. I think then gets is the worker ant. Right, let's attack this. Think, oh! Well, that was easy. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Let's do these computer things. What's this? You encounter a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the trader that the old trapper had mentioned. Ooh, her appearance was unsettling, but you were m mollified by her offerings. That's a woman? Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Be my guest, dear. You may go for it. Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. I think I might take the black goat. Oh, wolf pelts too. Exquisite. Oh. Wolf, a mantis. Wrecking. Beaver. Barrow adder. What's this? Creature posing his card as soon as you lose one attack power. Ah. Loses one attack power. That's what's this. When a card bearing a sigil is played, a dam is created on each empty adjacent space. A dam is defined as zero power to hell. That sounds OP as hell, and I'm having a beaver. These pelts are most excellent. My thanks. Interesting. Anyway, I think that's all we've got time for in this episode. I hope you've enjoyed our little progression in this uh, little fun card game. We're getting uh, quite into this, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Please feel free to like and subscribe below, and I'll see you next time for some more horror card shenanigans. Goodbye.